how to set up the new iPhone 16 or the 16 Pro and transfer the data over from an older iPhone. Now first, press on the side button to start the iPhone. So press and hold. Once you see the Apple logo appear, let's go off the button. Now make sure both of your phones are fully charged and make sure they are close to each other. Once you see the hello screen, swipe up to begin. On the language page, select your language, then select your region. So here I will select a region. Next, you can choose default, medium or large appearance, and then tap on continued. From here, tap on set up without another device, or you can just wait for the phone to show up on your old device. Here, I'm going to, so I accidentally tap on something and that caused it to go away, but that's okay. If that happens to you as well, then you can just tap on the back key like that and then select a language. Then tap on continued and we just wait. Otherwise you can Try to turn off your old device and switch it back on. Then tap on continue here. So tap on the continue button on your older device. And now they are trying to connect to each other. So on your old iPhone, use the phone and then point to that blue circle right there. And now say finish on the new iPhone. Okay, here it is now communicating between the two devices. Okay, once you see the data and privacy page, tap on the continue button. In here, you can set up Face ID now, or you can choose set up later. So if you want to set up Face ID, just tap on the continue button. Otherwise, tap on set up later. Here, put in a passcode. So I'm going to put in my passcode. Now, if you want to choose a different passcode option, just tap on passcode options. In here, you can choose a custom alphanumeric code, custom numeric code, a four digit numeric code, or don't use passcode. So here I will select four digit numeric code. One, two, three, four and then I will tap on use anyway and put in your same passcode again to confirm. Next, you say transfer data from iPhone. Now you can tap on the continue button or you can choose other options. If you choose other options, you can select from iCloud backup, from another iPhone, from Mac or PC, from Android or don't transfer anything. So I'm going to choose from another iPhone. And that means the phone now will try to um, search for another iPhone. So I'm just going to press on this button. So if you have another iPhone that you want to transfer over, uh, you can do that. And basically it's just going to repeat the same process when you are trying to uh, use a different iPhone. So here I will use this iPhone. So that um, option is uh, handy if you change your mind and you want to transfer data for a different iPhone other than the one that you have uh, used for the first time. Okay, now that we're back here, tap on the continue button to continue transferring the data from this iPhone over to the new iPhone 16. At the top here, tap on agreed. And then it says make this your new iPhone. Tap on continued. Here, iMessage and FaceTime, you can tap on the continue button to set it up. And then choose whether you want to turn on location services now, or you can choose set up later. Next is the silent mode, tap on the continue button. Here on the side is the action button. By default, the action button has set to silent mode. If you want to change the action button, you can tap on customize, and in here, you can choose which uh, mode to use. So you can set the action button to silent mode, focus, flashlight, recognize music, 
or magnifier it doesn't matter which option you choose now later on if you want to change the action button you can do so from the settings page so i'm just going to choose uh, choose the default uh, silent mode option and then tap on continued next the camera control tap on the continue button this is the camera control button so here's a click camera control to open up the camera app then click again to use the camera control as shutter so i just give you some information about a new feature which is the camera control button now tap on the continue button and then emergency sos in here tap on the continue button and now it is transferring the data over from an older iphone to the iphone 16. now depending on how much data that you have this process may take any anywhere between 10 minutes to even up to three hours or five hours so if you have tons and tons of pictures and videos uh, we've got like maybe 300 or 500 gigabytes of data that can take up to maybe four or five hours so just be patient and wait uh, for your phone to transfer the data over so depending on how much data you have this process may be quick or it may be a little bit slow okay so because i do not have anything on my iphone uh, the process only take about a minute so here on my older iphone i can tap on the continue button and then here's i erase this iphone do i want to erase it now because all the data has been successfully transferred to the new iphone um, to be safe i would select not now uh, just so that we can wait for the phone to completely finish and then we can uh, review it to make sure all the data has been successfully transferred over to the new iPhone before you go ahead and erase your iPhone or you can keep everything as is uh, and you can use this one as a backup and you probably want to uh, use the new iPhone for a week or two uh, before you go ahead and erase your old iPhone here we can swipe up and then we're going to enter in your passcode and that's it so we have now success, uh, successfully uh, set up the new iphone 16 and transfer the data over here on my old iphone i have some photos as you can see here i have some pictures and it has successfully transfer three photos uh, over and that is how you can set up your new iphone 16s and how you can transfer the data over now with the new iPhone 16, there is this new button here. This button allows you to quickly open up the camera. So if you press it once, that will allow you to quickly quickly uh, launch the camera. Pressing it on again will allow you to take a picture. Take a picture. If you long press on the button, so if you press and hold on it, that will allow you to capture a video. If you let go of the button, the video recording will stop. If you lightly press on the button, so if you press it halfway, that will open up the camera control. From here, you can swipe back and forth to access the control. Now it will open up the last camera control that you have used. So here, if I double press, double light press on the button, this will open up the camera control, allowing me to switch between the different controls so here i've got the exposure now i can light press again to go back to my control here and if i now move back and forth you can see i can adjust the exposure and if i want to change the camera control i double press double light press on the button and i can change my zoom and then light press to go back out and here i can swipe back and forth to zoom in or zoom out press on it hard or full press perform a full press will allow you to capture a picture so that is the new uh, feature the new camera button on the uh, iphone 16 or the 16 uh, pro another new feature of the iphone 16 is the control center if you swipe down the control center uh, now you have um, multiple pages on the control center and you can also tap on the add button at the top here 
then tap on add control from here you can add in tons and tons of different uh, controls to your control center so it is grouped into different uh, category from here you can see at the top down we've got the capture section you can add in clock uh, connectivity so i can add an alarm i can add in connectivity we've got display and brightness i can add in screen recording uh, I can add in more control. So here we can scroll down and you can view uh, focus. We've got home control notes, now playing remote shortcuts, sounds, translate, utilities, voice memos, wallet, watch, accessibility, hearing, accessibility, and so much more uh, from here. And you can also swipe down for a different uh, control page. So here we've got the first page, second, third, and fourth uh, page in the control center. And there are many other new features to explore as well on iPhone 16 running iOS 18. Thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe to my channel for more videos.